Rockets hosting the Hawks, and the Rockets are three and a half point favorites. The over under is at 233 and a half. The Hawks are plus 138 on the money line, and the Rockets are minus 164. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who has joined my Discord and who continues to join it. If you've not done so yet, you can do so by visiting my website, rossportstalk.com, and clicking on the membership tab there or clicking on the membership link in any one of my social media profiles. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets and to my stats, the games that I actually bet on. Now, as far as lineups are concerned for tomorrow, it's supposed to be Young, Murray, Hunter, Bay, and Capella, Van Vliet, Green, Brooks, Smith, and Sengen. Lineups have not been confirmed, and I complain about this in every NBA video, that the NBA needs to do something about when lineups get confirmed because I'm tired of waiting until 30 minutes or even an hour. An hour is reasonable, but 30 minutes before game time, it pisses me off when they do it. Now, they've played each other. They did not play each other yet this year. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The Rockets are 6-4. and four. The underdog has covered the last two games they played against each other. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. The favorite is 5-5 five and five against the spread. The over is 6-4, and four, and the over-under at 233.5 is 5-5. Five and five. Now, this Rockets team is not the same Rockets team that was last year. They actually play defense. So it'll be interesting to see a team that plays no defense versus a team that does play defense. The Hawks are 2-2 two and two in their last four, 3-7 and seven in their last 10. 263 points, 229 points, 246 points, and then 254 points. That's been the total scores. They lost by 7, they won by 21, they lost by 8, and then they won by 6. For the Rockets, they are on a two-game losing streak. They are 2-2 two two in their last four. 221, 199, then there was 247 points, and then 265 points. And I believe Brooks fouled out of one of those games. They won by 13, they won by 7, they lost by 9, and then they lost by 5. I'm not saying that it's improbable, but the Rockets are incredible at home this year. They're 11 and 1. The Hawks are mediocre on the road. I'll take the Rockets with the money line, I'll take the Hawks getting the points. And if the Rockets win, I imagine this game goes under. So I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.